So I have Linux now. This is Ubuntu. I've decided to go with that flavor because um, I guess just support, tons and tons of support, but I, I didn't stick with the, uh, you know, default Unity nonsense, even though Unity is better than I thought it was going to be, but I don't like all the Amazon integration and, and that nonsense. So I decided to go um, with GNOME and I've got GNOME 3 with a bunch of fancy things and some themes. And you guys can see that in just a second. First off, I want to explain what's going to happen in these videos. Uh, this is going to be sort of my my Linux log, like Captain's log, but, but Linux log. And uh, I'm going to be talking about my experiences with Linux, uh, the hurdles that I have to overcome, the things that I love about it, the things that I don't like about it. And I'm going to try to start some conversations. It's going to be slightly different compared to Windows videos. Those are going to be more educational, uh, more tutorial oriented type things, how to do this properly. And mine are going to be, um, you know, I'll show you guys how to do some things like, you know, we can talk about how to get Open Broadcaster up and running and configure it and that sort of thing. Uh, talk about my favorite themes, how to theme uh, GNOME, I play around with XFCE maybe a little bit as well because I like that one too. But Primarily, I'm going to be searching, starting conversations with you guys, getting pointers, and generally just keeping the conversation going. Now, first off, I want to show you guys what I've done with my desktop, because if some of you guys are on Windows, well, you need to see it. And another thing I want to say about Windows uh, in general before we really get into this, I complain a lot about, hey, I would love to use Linux if it had support for this and this, and I would love to use Linux if it, was, if it weren't for this. Well, the developers look at Linux and they're like, well, well, no one's using it. And so we have a chicken and an egg problem because... You know, we're not using it, and then when we do use it, we complain that, you know, they're not supporting it, and they're like, well, not, you know, no one's using it. So, we're going to abuse our power. We have 500,000 freaking subscribers on YouTube, and that may not be a lot, but it might be enough to get the ball rolling and encourage people to go over to Linux. So, right now, I'm encouraging you to go use it. I, it's The last week I've been using it, I'm like, why is everything not this way? Why This is just makes more sense to me. Why can't we have these things on Windows in this way? So, Windows has more options. I mean, of course, you've got more programs. A lot of the programs can run under Linux. you got to jump through some hurdles. So, uh, yeah, challenge is out. Get Linux, install it, play around with it, try some games on it. And uh, the new Vulkan API that uh, Valve is putting into Source Engine 2 is really going to help Linux adoption. So maybe we can see more support from the development community on Linux. All right, come over here and let's uh, show you guys what I've got working with right now. Of course, I said uh, that we have, you know, GNOME 3 going over here. And... Uh, just go ahead and quickly show you. Oh, I've got all kinds of things running around on a few workspaces here. But um, let's just show you the uh, tweak tool because everyone's going to be asking, you know, what is your theme, man? I probably can't type sideways. There we go. Uh, tweak tool. There we go. The theme is just Flat Studio Dark. You guys can search for that and install it. Now, I'm running GNOME 3, and this is the tweak tool for it, so you can come in here and configure everything. Uh, extensions here. And one thing that's interesting about GNOME 3 is when you want to get more extensions, you click this. Well, it's opening up in, in Chrome, but uh, you need to open this up in Firefox. But this is actually how you configure uh, your GNOME 3 experience. Just open up Firefox here and uh, paste this in. And you control the extensions through Firefox. It's a bit interesting, but after you get uh, used to it, it's not that bad. And there are lots of very cool extensions. I think my favorite one so far is, the, uh, is this one. You press the tilde key and... There you go, console. That's the terminal. It just pops down. You can also open, you know, a separate terminal window if you wanted to. You could just open up a standard terminal window if you wanted. And there it is. There's your, your terminal window. But it's so handy to be able to just, you know, hit your tilde key and have that pop down and then you can do stuff. All right, so I've got Steam and I've also got, you know, a bunch of games from good old games and, and, and whatever else. But let's just open up a few games here to show you how it works when you're uh, playing games. So I've got all these here. i got Hotline Miami. Check this out. You double click. It just opens right up. There we go. Oh, it opened up over there. Okay, well, that's fine. You can game on any window you want. There's a game on this screen. There we go. Or I can uh, game over here. You know what? I mean, I want to open up a different game. Let's do uh, Penumbra. Yeah, got that open, right? So now I've got a game on each screen going on. And this, God, this is just working. I love the fact that it just works. The screen capture is working just fine. Um, I mean, it's just grabbing the OpenGL for... It's so easy for working with Open Broadcaster because I can just open whatever game, and as long as I'm doing a full screen capture on that monitor, it seems to just work for me. Let's open up Besiege. haven't played that one yet, but why not? So as you can see here, now we've got all these games, and I can just move them around, put it on that monitor if I want to. Let's put this one over here, open it up on the main monitor. So I've been looking at lots of different editing programs as well. Uh, this is uh, Pivity right here. And this one seems pretty promising, but it is it is like 
very new and they need to implement a few things. It'll be good for basic editing. I'm not sure if it's going to be a pure replacement for Premiere, but uh, I'm not sure if I can expect that. Uh, I've been hopping back over into Windows to do some of my productivity, like, you know, audio and video editing. Um, I, I think Blender may also be an option, but there's a huge learning curve. So you guys haven't seen many videos this week because I've been playing with these things and trying to make them, you know, work uh, to, to meet my needs. Right now, what I'm going to do is really just encourage everyone to jump on Linux, play around, um, you know, keep talking and tell the developers that you want them to support it. And that's the, the best thing that we can all do right now. So uh, I guess I'll be signing off for the first video here. This is going to go on the main channel and the Linux channel. The future ones will only go on the Linux channel. So this is just a heads up uh, for everybody out there. Enjoy the content. Be sure to subscribe to all our channels and we will see you guys in the forum.